So guys, this video is going to be about another word formation process called back formation. Um, now this concept is uh, kind of related to etymology, but it's also got something to do with morphology and I'll explain why. So it says here, in etymology, back formation is the process of creating a new lexeme by removing, quitando, actual or supposed affixes. So maybe the affix is there, maybe it's not. You know, maybe that's an affix that's actually part of the language or not. We'll see an example in just a moment. So firstly, in English, you had the word to burgle. Um, you know, uh, sorry, I'll open. Uh, firstly, in English, you had the word burglar. So the person that did it. And then we created the verb from the noun. So we got rid of burglar and became to burgle. Yeah? And that was the verb of doing the action that the burglar does. Okay. Now, this one's an interesting one. Um, now, we know that in Spanish we have un tamal and dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis tamales. Now, in that word passed into American English. I mean, in England, nobody knows what a tamal is, to be honest. Um that, that word passed into American English as the plural form, tamales. But you know that in English, we form the plural form just by adding S, right? So the singular form of a tamal, un tamal para nosotros, is a tamale. Oh, I saw him eating a tamale the other day because we're just getting rid of the S because, you know, uh, American people didn't realize that tamales was the, the plural form of tamal. They thought, oh, well, if it's tamales, then in singular it's tamale, you know? Um, and the final example, funky. First, we had the word funky. Um, so, uh, oh, I like that music. It's really funky. And then the genre of music described as funky then kind of came to be described as funk. So, again, funky being an adjective and funk being the noun. Okay? I hope that helps, guys.